So we're going to tackle this problem from the uh, inside outwards. So at the heart of the problem, uh, at the heart of this scenario is uh, it needs to be able to ask uh, questions about times tables. So let's uh, see how we can implement that. Again, you can get children to work in pairs to decide which of the um, instructions they need, which of the blocks they need to be able to ask a question. Most of them will know that uh, you can uh, ask a question just by using one of these. So we can drag this across and say, what is two uh, times four, for example. Um, and we can double click and run that. And what happens is the the uh, output uh, appears on the screen. So the message appears on the screen, but we've got no way of actually typing an answer in. So this is not an appropriate one. So again, if you ask the children to uh, go away and investigate, some of them may come up with something like, well, maybe we can ask, uh, use this particular command under sensing, this instruction under sensing, the ask um, instruction. And underneath the ask instruction, we've got this thing called answer, which we may also make uh, use of. So let's just drag this one out and then see whether we can say uh, what is two times four, however you say that uh, to your children. Double click it to run it. And this time what we get, if we use this particular instruction, is we get some way of typing an answer in. So I could type an answer in here. Uh, so I've typed in eight and press enter. And it's happy, it's asked the question, it's taken my answer, but it doesn't do anything with it. So uh, it will ask a question, but we're not doing anything with the input. So to actually do something with the input, we need to say, well, check the answer. And if it's correct, then say hooray. And if it's not, then output an appropriate message. So again, uh, get children to go away and think about and investigate which command they might use and uh, most of them should know uh, or recognize that they may use the if command. So if the answer is correct, then well, let's just put a message in to begin with and we'll think about what the condition is going to be there. So let's just say hooray. So you can um, take your time over this section, but I'm, go I'm just going to do it quite quickly else uh, we can just say no that's not correct um, so now we come to the condition here and what we want to do is whatever we've typed in answer we want it to check that so uh, again we can go away and look at the operators um, and we have got a, a way of checking whether something is equal to something else and it's got the same shape as the condition that goes into the if so let's drag this one out and then think about what we might want to put in there. My question is two times eight, uh, two times four, sorry, and the answer is going to be eight. So I need something to equal eight. What I type in gets stored in this answer over here. So this answer, if I drag this out and again, move it over the conditions and uh, children will be used to this when it's white and we let go, it will uh, uh, fix onto the space there. So now from the middle of this condition, I can pick this up and move it over the if. And when that if is highlighted the condition bit, I can drag that in there. And again, I can get children to articulate this out loud to their partner, what it's actually doing. So let's go away and run this and see if that happens. So I'm just gonna double click uh, and I'll type the answer in correctly. And it says, hooray. And again, to make sure that this is tested uh, thoroughly, we need to check the other conditions. So what happens if we type the answer in wrong? Uh, does it give us the message that it's supposed to give when it's wrong? So we've got this far, and now the discussion is, well, what's, what's wrong with this uh, particular quiz? You know, it's, um, and you should get a response back saying, well, it's a, uh, it's only asking the one question. It can only ask two times four, which makes it a little bit boring. And so we need to uh, sort that out so that it will ask different types of, uh, it will ask questions with different numbers in.
and uh, we'll look at that in the next video.